Both of them have stepped up their their travel lately. Falcon Pika. It's a matchup I know Etab quite practiced in because of his rivalry with Boba Kanush. And he did win against Boba Kanush yesterday in the uh, warm up weekly with a 3 0. But Pad showing he is not Boba Kanush starting off with a crazy combo there with a forward air to like uh, landing again into up air. Really unusual offstage combo. Oh! Itab misses that re-grab. That is a tough one. The instant dash out of back throw. Not easy to input. Forward throw. That looks like some down DI there. Itab making it difficult, but he gets up feed out of his escape. And misses the ledge. So that is going to be a big lead for Itab. Uh, so far, no real openings found for Itab. He does have Falcon at 28%. So, yeah. See the benefits there. Yeah. Finds a backer, but he gets grabbed. So like I was saying, having Falcon at that 28%, or in this case, all the way up to 64, means Pikachu's got a nice selection of moves, but the taunt cancel! And Epad's styling on him. It was funny, he taunt canceled and then dashed back away to kind of not get the benefits of it. Maybe you get the, get the combo, it's all, real, all worth it. Etab though, firing back with a little bit of a combo of his own. But you don't want to be in this position, I think. 86%. A lot of ways for Falcon to finish this kill. Finds the dash grab. Looks like he covered pretty much everything there on the tech chase. And this should be the stock. Yeah, he just immediately grabs the ledge. Great awareness there. I was kind of thinking, you know, how to hit Falcon again, but it turns out totally unnecessary. And Etab, you know, really good awareness. Ooh. Great ledge cancel too. Etab, despite starting this game out with quite the deficit, has been playing really well since then. Epad going off some great patience with those bears. Those the bears will put uh, put him in a very bad position, and yeah, he is able to punish. Uh, chasing him down with the upbeat, really smart. So both these guys kind of showing off some some more modern technology, and and the the fact that these guys are you know advanced players of these characters. Not just sticking to standards on either side. Oh, I love that falling there, and that's going to convert into a kill. Really well played for Epad. That slow fall Nair mix up. Kind of shades of low power. Epad's punish game. I felt like really Etab um, was able to get the kills when he got the openings for the most part. But he just was not getting enough openings. He pad kind of faking the character selection a little bit. Six with Falcon, of course. I think they're adjusting their music, doing a little restart. Here. So we'll get right back into it momentarily. And yeah, it, it felt like the neutral was the big issue there uh, from Etab's side. Epad being very strong. Both of those guys, of course, great punish games. And you know, when you have two guys like that, whoever gets the openings is is going to steal it. Woo! Both of them missing the grabs. Dash it back and forth. Epad manages to find it. Like that Nair. Oh, fancy angle. What was that from Etab? It's just the roll on stage from ledge. I don't know if that was on purpose. It's going to be a big punish. Epad just chases him down with the up B. You can really tell he's feeling himself. Up B's him again. It is stale, but I'm not sure the knockback on that move uh, becomes stale since it is a throw. And Epad is looking really good. Gets the grab again. Yeah, Etab missing the grab. Some good DI there, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Ah, uh, keeps him alive, but 96%. Wow, what an up B, though. Etab, so evasive with these up Bs. <laughs> that one, maybe not quite so evasive. And this is, again, quite the hole. Really just feels like Etab not getting these neutral opportunities. 
barely even building percent. Your e pad just gets grab after grab. Just as I say that, finds the grab in that fair. Not what e pad wanted, but he gets flicked over the ledge. Very last second. Okay, e tab finally cleans up that edge guard. A little bit of a mistake the first time, but it does make it work. Now we get some careful neutral, but e pad is just getting these dash grabs so reliably. Upbeat doesn't work, but ends up getting to shield kind of an unsafe aerial there. Tech chase not quite coming together, but this advantageous state, yes, so good for Pikachu. Eventually gets the tech chase, and that should secure the kill. So again, e type going down early, and again, just to bring it back basically to even. Gets grabbed, and that's a little ambitious. e pad goes too high on that up B and kills himself. This could be a big turnaround. Finds a dare. Nair won't quite kill. How can he find this stock? Again goes for the up B and again it pays him out. Fantastic use of this up B. I feel like at this point, E-Pad has hit more neutral up Bs than he has out of combos. And we're in a last stock situation. e -tab finds the bear under the grab. It's the double throw. This is typically the stock, but he misjudges the distance. E-Pad really smart up being at such a difficult range. This goes for the Nair for knockback. Smart move. We've seen just how good uh, e tabs DI is. But e -pad finds the up air. Drops it. Both these guys a little sloppy at the end here. They're both nervous. And it's hard to blame them. e, -e tab just barely misses that edge guard. That back air was pixels away. The down air misses somehow. Back and forth with crazy hits. Somehow neither of them's dead. Falling fair, it looks like he missed the Z cancel, and the neutral B will finally do it. ETAB takes an incredibly scrappy game, too. Showing some great mental resilience there, you know, losing game one and then being down two stocks, two clean stocks, game two. Manages to drag it all the way back. Really impressive performance from both these guys. Those were some phenomenal Falcon up Bs. Some of the best I've seen. Those neutral up Bs. And e -pad, uh switching to Pikachu. Opting to go for the Ditto. I don't know how I feel about that. You know, it, it can be tough uh, as a third party to evaluate what the, what the right character selection is. I feel like e -pad, at the level he was playing, you know, the Falcon... Certainly is capable of winning the set, but, you know, maybe he wants to limit the volatility a bit. Or he has some reason to, uh, felt like, you know, wasn't getting the inputs he needed with Falcon. Falcon can be a character that's really, really susceptible to small input errors can just lose you the stock. And if you're not confident in your inputs, we've seen a lot of strong players... Uh, let's go back to low power, KD3, another one where it's like they'll play the character Falcon, but if they feel like their inputs aren't perfect in the moment, they're going to switch and choose a different option. That said, e -tab able to take the first stock here despite some great DI from e -pad. And this is the first game of the set that we've seen uh, e -tab take the lead. Which one's e -tab? e tab is the red hat. So it was 1-1 in Pika Falcon, then for Game 3, E-Pad uh, switched to the Pika Diddy. So I'll have to see if that gets rewarded. This is a matchup that I know... Wow! So I was saying that I know uh, E-Tab has been working on. He messes up that combo very slightly, got a lot of damage, but no finisher. But uh, luckily for him, E-Pad SD'd, but some nice shield pressure there from E-Pad. Uh oh. A little bit of sloppiness off the respawn platform, and E-Pad immediately comprom compromised. I don't know if he compromised. Capitalized, that's the word. He immediately capitalizes on it, finds a big combo, and look at this! That was almost a complete zero to death! Such good offense here from E-Pad. Here he is taunting again. Loves those taunt cancels. But E-Tab... Gets the chain grab to start this off, and gets a couple 
up airs off the tech chase as well. Really nice way to start this off run. Gets that anti air up tilt, but isn't able to follow up the platform and it messes it up. This is a bracket now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. This is bracket. This is bracket. But each have with a missed up of his own. Both these guys with a couple SDs. Both these guys playing a little shaky. This game could really go either way. What a tense set from both these guys. Oh, tries to run in with the back air. Doesn't work. E-pad's ready with the up tilt. Both these guys are playing so safe now. E-pad knows any move. Yeah, and e tap finds it, finds the grab after another input from E-Pad, and we're on last stock game three between these two name rivals, team rivals, online rivals, and they're jockeying for position here. That falling there, really smart from E-Pad. Not quite able to capitalize. Chase him down, and e tap finds that big up air. To get the back throw, nice single zip from Epad. He gets a grab of his own. Will that kill? That'll do it. Epad takes it with a 2 1 victory in the Pika Ditto. What a scrappy match there. Not, uh, not quite the cleanest, and they hug it out. Plenty of. Uh, Plenty of little misinputs from both sides.